Sagale Sagle, Tia Niu gets Buju Ganokle and Dishnakaz Mine Gendorum, Bekish Gunan Dunjiba and Nishnabe Kwe and Dao. Hi, I'm Tia Kennedy. I'm of the Wolf Clan. My pronouns are she and her. I'm a part of the For the Love of Creation delegation, and I come from two First Nations communities, Oneida Nation of the Thames and Walpole Island First Nation. These are located in Turtle Island, which is now known as Canada. I'm studying public administration and governance at Toronto Metropolitan University. I carry both Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe teachings. As an active member in my community, I advocate for fairness and justice for my people. Currently, I do this in different ways by uplifting voices, empowering Indigenous youth, education, consulting, policy, and film. I currently work at the Assembly of First Nations in the health sector as a policy analyst, and I've recently finished filming a short documentary on the water crisis for First Nations communities. Climate change is affecting much more than my work and people that work in my region. It's affecting my identity, my culture, my community, right before our faces. My work is just one single component. It intersects across various social determinants. To be quite honest, I think the biggest way climate change is affecting my work is through my mental health. It's difficult to focus on developing health policy when the health of our planet is so scarce. How can we manage to heal ourselves when we can't heal the earth? Without her medicines, we will perish. In regards to climate change, we need land back. Indigenous peoples deserve more than just a seat at the table. They should be leading the conversations with diverse communities when it comes to climate change solutions. Indigenous peoples have the longest standing relationship with Mother Earth and the necessary values to effect meaningful and quick change. We view the earth as our mother rather than a resource for monetary gain. Those are the people that should be leading these conversations because the solutions have always been here. But unfortunately, our current governments are not willing to make the necessary changes and have a history of excluding indigenous peoples in decision-making forums about the land while also failing to uphold restrictions and holding corporations accountable to the degradation of our ecosystems.